Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Northern Fishing Talk. I'm your host, Kirk Backer. Now, um, I know I haven't done um, a video in a few days. Um, the one that I did was, I did my the one for my boat. On uh, the same day I did that one, I also did my t uh, kind of a tips and tricks. It was just kind of a, here's some information for you guys. Take it as you want. Now, with that being said, for some reason, my computer did not want to upload that to YouTube. It took me a couple of weeks to actually get a, excuse me, 100% low uh, upload on it and for it to actually show on YouTube. So I don't know if there's a problem with my computer or whatnot. Um, probably going to be going over to an Apple computer there shortly and going to get new uh, actual editing software and all that to make these videos look a little bit better. But here's what the video is today it's another unboxing it's the lucky tackle box um, I know I've been doing just the unboxings and a couple of things here and there I know that kinda sucks um, I've just been trying to find the right time I can get out on the water with the right people to do my recording uh, because when I'm out with my kids I want them to enjoy the time out in the water I don't want them to have to worry about you know dad's recording or anything like that so I'd rather have them focusing on hey you know let's have some fun so I'm going out in a couple of weeks uh, I'm going out for a week there in a couple of weeks um, with some friends and family there will be some times I'm out in the water with my kids but there'll be other times I'll be out I'll actually get some hopefully get some really good footage um, and we'll hopefully get a decent bite now with that being said this is the walleye box now you're gonna see me pass stuff off to the side. I'm passing that off to my daughter Juliana, my oldest, which you saw in the boat video. Um, now that boat video was actually, uh, as I like to say, directed. Uh, the camera person was my was my youngest daughter Evelyn, and she did a great job on that, considering that she had a very tiny little spot to sit on the boat while she was recording. Uh, the tips and tricks one was my oldest one Juliana she did the camera work on it so like I said they, they help out but I, when we're out on the water I want them to enjoy their time so but if you see me passing stuff off to the side um, it'll be my daughter Juliana this time because um, when I do these my kids will probably be around and it'll either be one of them that'll be taking it um, now with that being said uh, let's get into this now I've been looking at everything over and over because you know I I just I'm like that I just I got this head where I gotta focus in on everything but before you get into it obviously you get your your sticker and you get your book the book has uh, some uh, preview edition and all that for stuff that's going um, as they say at uh, ICAST and a lot of freedom stuff so that's that um, you get your card, but I've looked at the card, I've read it over, I'm, I think I'm pretty familiar with it. So anyways, um, here we go. Now, first things first, the Lunker Hunt Filet. Now this um, is kind of a lipless crankbait. It's one ounce in weight, so it's pretty good that way. I like that because I do like, where I'm fishing, I do like some of the heavier stuff. And it's three inches long. It's got six ball bearings in it. Three, uh, The three bigger ones are in the belly. The three smaller ones at the top of the back, right by where you tie on. So, and it's in a craw color, more of a see-through craw color. Um, not bad, but where I go, um, I'm probably gonna be using a lot more chartreuse. But I'll give it a shot in a couple areas where I'm going, uh, where I think it might actually do some good. So that being said, on to the next one. This one I'm totally stoked about. I'm a Rapala fan. I love Rapala lures. Um, not I. I've never had a Rapala lure fail me, so to speak, and um, it's a deep runner, uh, so it's 8 to 15 feet deep. Uh, it says on here it's about 3.5 inches long and about 9 sixteenths of an ounce. Um, once again, it's in a craw color, a uh, dark brown craw, um, and I'm looking forward to it. I mean, it's uh, one of the great things that's uh, going on. Uh, and that is that they're bringing in a lot of established uh, excuse me sorry I had a little something in my throat uh, bringing on established companies 
uh, and that in. I've had Rapplin before, but I mean, some of the ones that they're talking about coming up, I'm really looking forward to. Now, if they could get Freedom in, I would be totally stoked. I, I'm, I love Freedom right now, um, and that's great. But um, yeah, so Rapla, awesome band. Oh, excuse me, I think I'm losing my voice already. How is that possible? Um, so next thing, and that we've got Fish Belly. Now, Fish Belly, um, it says action that imitates real live bait. Now, the company's out of Brooklyn. Um, when I looked on the back, and I did a little bit of uh, reading, it's a hog shad. So with the hog shad and all that, um, as you can see here, and that, um, the tail seems to want to go up. And that's kind of weird for me. Because with most of the drop shots and stuff like that that I've had, the tail wants to go down. So when I hold it, obviously I want to hold the tail down, but you can kind of feel how the tail wants to go up. Now I'm just barely holding that, and you're still getting a little bit of action. So I'm, I'm looking forward to this for drop shotting. Uh, might Texas rig it just to see how it'll work uh, with the tail. Um, now the back, the green on the back is it might be a little dark for some of the areas that I'm going to next week. Uh, not next week, but the week after. Um, but the one lake I go to, Cook's Bay, is very clear. Um, and there's that old adage, clear lake, dark lures, dark lake, lighter lures. So we'll give it a shot and we'll see. Um, either way, in the next a little bit, I'll be giving it a shot and seeing how it's going. Um, <clears throat> now, next is the Impulse. Um, it is the Impulse bait with a live... Re it's the reactionary baits with... Four and a half inch um, fake leech. Well, I've got a few of these downstairs. I don't get them with the with the fake leech and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I'll I'll give it a shot. I wasn't planning on really trolling while I was um, while I was gone, but I want I've been loading up a lot of this tackle uh, the lucky tackle box stuff that I've been getting, and I've been loading it up, getting it in the boat ready to go so this will just be one of the ones I'll add and I'll give it a shot and see what I can do um, because I'm gonna have numerous people in the boat well not numerous I'm probably gonna have about four people in the boat so to try and troll might be a little difficult with the way my boat's set up right now but give it a shot for sure um, the gold uh, it's a gold shiner blade a Colorado blade um, it's the line that's being used is bionic, it said. It uh, doesn't say if it's, uh, what do you call it? It um, doesn't say if it's fluoro or not, but hey, like I said, we'll give it a shot and see. Now, this one I got looking at. The Spike It Walleye Tubes is what it says. Walleye Series. The Ultimate Lure. Um, I got looking at these. Uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe I just got a bad bunch or something like that, but... Uh, they seem like maybe like I don't know it just seems a little weird um, I use a lot of grubs for, in the winter for uh, jigging mind you they're a little smaller than this um, but it, it they say that what is it uh, their diamond flash walleye series um, some of them are like look really good like this one the tail looks pretty clear and you can get that nice holographic image and that but they also look like almost white with some flake so I mean it, it I don't know how I'd really use that to my advantage I'll have to sit down and, and think about it I do have some rigs that I could use these for this I'll probably though mainly use in um, the winter time uh, for when I'm ice fishing for pike and stuff like that. Uh, it is a little longer than what I planned on it being, but um, definitely give it a shot. Now the card said that they were two inch. On the back it says four inch. Um, you know what? Who knows, right? Who cares? You got the bait. Um, the one thing I'm thinking though is I have been using some liquid mayhem uh, lately. My brother-in-law used it. Uh, what was it? Canada Day weekend and got a uh, snapping turtle. So. Uh, Something tells me the stuff's good. So I'll probably just maybe toss on this and see how it works. But that's neither here nor there. Um, now, I'm a huge fan of KVD. 
Um, I like the way he fishes, power fishes. I've never been a power fisherman, um, but I like that whole style and everything. So we'll give it a shot. But they got the KVD uh, dual lock snapback. Uh, now it's a it's a it's an uh, ot. Well, it's a zero zero size quantity ten, and that's why I like Lucky Tackle Box. Uh, because other tackle box companies you might get four or five like they, they put them in a little bag right on it you know they don't give you a full amount with these guys they do so here's if you can kind of see it and that um, I don't normally use these uh, but I might start you know fluorocarbon liters and that, that kind of stuff um, give it a shot now I did try and open it a little earlier it's a little tough for for my hands because I got like big meat claws and stuff like that um, so I'll probably give it a, a, another shot I might have to use pliers hopefully not because I'm always afraid that'll wreck the, the tension on it but with that being said overall it was a really good box um, going by the card here the Lunker Hunt was $7.99 excuse me the Shad Wrap was $6.99 the Fish Belly uh, four ninety nine. The impulse rig was uh, four fifty. The spike it was three dollars, and the KVD dual lock snaps were a dollar ninety nine. So overall, I think it was well worth the price for sure. Um, would there be a few things I change? Yeah, I mean, uh, a couple. Um, but once again, overall, really great. Um, really, really great box um, and I totally recommend that it, if you're into fishing and you're watching this you probably watch the other guys but for sure um, but take it from a guy that's been fishing since he was two years old I'm 36 now so it's been 34 years I've been fishing um, geez I got so much tackle I could probably rival a lot of independent tackle shops um, and I I've gone to places where uh, the bite's usually pretty tough, and that and Lucky Taco Box pretty much has it nailed. On the species that you're going for, they've got it nailed down. Uh, coloring, that's going to be geographical, obviously. Um, where I am, a lot of chartreuse. Um, I know other places where I go, you need like more of a yellow or you need the craw or you need the pumpkin colors and that so it's that that I take with a grain of salt because once again it's gonna be geographical next box I might get the colors might be perfect for the area but the fact is I've got baits that I know I can use at a really good price it's great the box is awesome um, now with that being said um, I know my content has been a little weak as of late um, it's really sad to say but I got a second subscriber so if you're watching this thank you for hitting that subscribe button and hitting the like and all that kind of stuff um, I was planning on doing a contest and at, come the end of August send out a box of stuff um, unfortunately I've only got two subscribers I've had one comment um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it off for a little bit um, might do a live uh, broadcast and we'll see how it goes from there and uh, maybe do the maybe do it all then but what I'm gonna do for this now is next two or three videos will definitely be um, uh, 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 fishing I'll try and get more fishing out. Um, I'm gonna take some of the B footage that I got from my GoPro. I'm gonna upload it and hopefully do um, a Northern Tac uh, Northern Fishing Talk uh, B reel, and I'll put it out there. And you guys can kind of see, you know, me and my family out on the water a bit and all that kind of stuff. Um, now, with that also being said, for those of you that are watching, because I know I'm getting viewers people are watching and all that for those of you who are watching thank you very much hit the like hit the subscribe and put your comments in there I'm getting one person that's commenting all the time and that's great um, I know the guy 
so I wouldn't expect any less from him and that not to comment if he didn't comment I'd worry um, but with that being said I'm having a blast doing this um, I haven't really had a chance to get more done like I wanted to um, I've been having to get um, everything ready for my fishing trip so we've booked a cottage so it's like getting everything ready for that getting my daughters ready to go to their grandmothers for a week before and then having to get ready to get them so uh, a lot of stuff on the go but um, I'm definitely definitely going to be uh, putting out some more videos I'll probably be, what do you call it I'll probably be doing some editing and all that up there while I'm there hopefully I can get everything done while I'm up there and if I have internet access up there I'm not 100% sure if I will I'm hoping um, because I, I will admit I love going to the places that has no cell phone reception no internet access uh, but the place we are going has like a 50 inch flat screen TV with satellite so this is the first time I'm going to a place that has all that kind of stuff so it's gonna be interesting but I will try and if I can edit some of the videos get them out there um, show them to you guys um, and you guys can see how great the area is now with that being said once again thank you for watching uh, and hit the like hit the subscribe tell your friends about us um, you can follow me on Twitter um, backer Kirk at backer Kirk um, you can follow me on Instagram backer Kirk uh, and that um, backer Kirk you can find me I, I, I'm very interesting right just re reverse my names right so um, but yeah you can hit me on those um, I'm trying to get a page still set up for Northern Fishing Talk on uh, Facebook so once I get that done we'll get it all set up I'll tell you all about that um, gonna be on snapchat very soon um, and we're gonna get all that going so once again thank you for watching Northern Fishing Talk have a great day Drove downtown in the rain 9.30 on a Tuesday night Just to check out the late night Record shop Got it in Boston Got it in Boston Got it insane But when I'm surrounded I just can't Okay ladies and gentlemen, here's a little teaser I know I don't normally do it, but I got my daughters here And They want to be in my videos, so by all means so, out of all the tackle that Daddy did today, which one's your favorite? Mine is this one is because it's a kind of fish one of these. It's a fish one of these. Okay, so you, you like the fish probably. Okay, that's good. Julie, which one's your favorite? My favorite is the Rapala Shadrap because it's very cool colors and it just sounds cool. <laughs> Shadrap. Okay. It's because it catches <laughs> fish that are cool. Okay, so there we go future generation of fishermen or fisher ladies i guess we could say but anyways once again thanks for watching really big <laughs>